Fly fishing was very much a hobby for a start, albeit one that I took very, very seriously. I've been fly fishing since I was six years old, so that's the last 22 years of my life I've been an angler. Um, when I was in my mid to late teens, I represented England at youth level, so obviously it, it was more than a hobby in that pretense. And then I had experience in the fishing tackle trade right from leaving school. Later on, I took one or two other jobs and had a bit of time out, and then eventually I got my break and found the lease on the unit that I'm now in, and we developed from there, really. When we first set up, we had to do quite a lot of renovation work on the on the premises we're, we're now in. It Also, from previous experience of the tackle trade, I, I knew who to ring, what suppliers I could use. I uh, set up trading accounts, had to do a lot of legal work, obviously, to sort out the lease on my business and things like that that I've got. Um, so then the stock started coming in in dribs and drabs. We finished the renovations. We had fixtures and fittings built and installed. And then from there we put it all together and we ended up with this fantastic shop. I advertise on the internet and promote and sell products on the internet. And for me it is definitely an essential part of the business. There are pros and cons to any form of advertising or product promotion and I think the thing with the internet is it can be good for a great price but there isn't an option to be able to go and handle the product so I think the internet's really good if you know what you're buying. If you're unsure and you want advice then you can't go anywhere better than your local shop or your local dealer. Since um, we started trading I suppose we've altered the product ranges very slightly um, just really to demand from what different customers wanted you know I mean obviously as a passionate angler I know what equipment I like to use and it can be easy to to get a bit sidetracked and stock what I think people should buy which I, I don't believe to be the wrong way but obviously if you're getting a lot of customers ask for different products then you'd be silly not to carry those products you know at the end of the day you're all here to make money and that's that's another way of doing it. I've also added a range of uh, clothing, men's sort of smart casual clothing, which goes really well in line with, with the other products I sell. And it just gives me something different to advertise. And this is being backed up when I ask people that ring up where they found us or if they actually fish. And now that I'm selling the clothing, we've found that people don't always fish. And these are sales that I wouldn't have got from just purely selling the fishing tackle. We're really just looking to continue developing our range of products. We'd like to source some more of our own products. Um, I think obviously it gives you something that's um, applicable only to your own shop. I mean, obviously there are a lot of companies out there that already do these kind of things, but those companies appear to be successful on the face of it. It gives you a brand that people recognize you by. It gives you more scope. I think it just gives you a bit more of a dimension. I think it helps the marketing to look after itself in a way. We'd maybe like to have a look at a bit of alternative fishing tackle. We'd maybe like to start looking to do hosted holiday trips for the destination anglers. There's a lot of scope to develop the business in all sorts of different ways. We'd also like to do some teaching DVDs and videos which we'd like to add onto our website, really just to make Lincolnshire Fly Shop the one-stop fly fishing resource.